In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the select case. So let's go over to our VBA area. Go ahead and create a new sub called sub select me. In this sub, we'll have a variable called uh, metal as string. Let's give that metal a value. Metal equals gold. And then I'll do a select case. It goes like this. Select case metal. End select. You gotta always end your select. And we'll have this. Alright. Case gold. Case silver. Case bronze. Whoops. Bronze. And else case. Oops. Okay. Else case. Case else. Excuse me. Case else. There we go. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to it's going to see what the value of metal is, and then go find the case that matches it. So when it finds the case that matches it, it's going to do whatever's below that case. We're going to do this. Debug dot print. Hooray! We got gold. Okay. If we got silver, it's going to be debug.print. Wahoo! Seconds, not bad. Sec. How do you spell second? There are seconds, not bad. If we got bronze, at least. We placed, and if we got none of the three, well then, better luck next time. Okay, so what's this going to do? Let's hit F8. It's going to find out what metal is equal to, or what value metal has right now, and then it's going to go to the select case and say, for is it case gold? Yes, it is. All right, print out. Hooray, we did it. And then see what happens. It skips over all of the rest of these because these are just irrelevant. We don't need to process them. So it's head ends the select and the sub, and we're done. Now, if this was, let's see, put whatever I want in there, no metal, and hit F8. It says, are you gold? Nope. Are you silver? Nope. Are you bronze? Nope. Well, then you're something else. So let's print better luck next time. You see it printed out down here. And that's how the select case works. Piece of cake.